This video will cover the topic rational exponents, non-unit fraction exponent with a whole number base. Rational exponents are exponents that are fractions, and as we can see, we will deal with non-unit fractions as exponents. Let's take a look at an example problem. 4 raised to the 3 halves power. Our goal is to simplify this exponential as much as possible. As we can see, 4 is a whole number base, and 3 halves is a non-unit fraction. How should I start a problem like this? Let's break apart the exponent first to make this more clear. We'll break apart 3 halves into 1 half times 3. This reflects the power rule of exponents. Do you remember what the power rule of exponents does? That's the one where we have a power raised to a power, right? Yes. Then that means we have to multiply the exponents. Yes, that's right. So having the exponents 1 half times 3 this shows that they are multiplied, so this reflects the power rule of exponents. We can rewrite the expression as a power raised to a power, and that might make more sense. We now have 4 to the 1 half power, all raised to the third power. Yeah, that does make more sense to me, but I'm not really sure what 4 raised to the 1 half is. Yes, we should review this. When we have a unit fraction exponent, it is a root, so 1 half is a second root. 1 third is a third root, 1 fourth is a fourth root, and so on. In other words, any base to the 1 half power is a square root of that base. And the same goes for a to the 1 third power. It would be the cube root of a. Or for a to the 1 fourth power, it would be the fourth root of a, and so on. Oh, okay. Well, I know the square root of 4. That's 2. So now I have 2 raised to the third power. That's 8. And I guess that's the final answer. Yes, it is. Good job. Now, we broke the exponent apart to show our steps, but I also want to quickly explain a shortcut to this. When we have a rational exponent, the numerator is a power, and the denominator is a root. So, we could look at 4 to the 3 halves power, and see that the 3 in the numerator is a raised exponent of 3, and the 2 in the denominator is a square root. We can take the 4 and either raise it to the third power and then take the square root of that, or we can find the square root of 4 first and then raise that to the third power. Starting with the root is usually the simplest way, but either way works. If we take the square root of 4 first, that is 2. And then we raise 2 to the third power, which equals 8. Now if we take 4 to the third power first, that is 64. And then we have 64 to the 1 half power. So we take the square root of 64, which is also 8. Therefore, both ways work. Now this is only a quicker way to approach rational exponents, which does skip some steps. The original explanation helps us to see the reasoning behind each step. Okay, thanks. Just to summarize, when I see a non-unit rational exponent, I can break the exponent apart into the numerator times the fraction 1 over the denominator, such as 3 times 1 half. Then I can take the root of the base that the unit fraction directs, and then raise that to the power of the numerator of the original exponent. Or, I can raise the base to the power of the numerator first, and then take the root of that according to the unit fraction. Exactly. Great explanation.